What is up legends, today we'll be taking on a user's request of going up against the Malevolent Creek and talk a little bit about it. So today let's go ahead and do just that. Let's go into the Malevolent Creek here and as always complete all main objectives, all side objectives and talk a little bit about successfully extracting as well. With the hopes of this video helping you Helldivers out there spread some more managed democracy against the very powerful automatons. So what I like to do here is I generally like to spawn on the edge of the map uh, as there will be less of a probability of you landing right in the middle of a point of interest which can spare your life. For stratagems here we'll be taking the 500 kilo, the rocket pods as well as the, ro uh, the auto cannon with the vitality booster. The auto cannon is going to be your best choice as a support weapon as a solo player. I know the anti-material rifle is very good, a lot of people are noticing its power, but the autocannon kills pretty much everything that the anti-material rifle does just as effectively, and on top of it, you're able to take out factories from afar. I'm gonna be taking out this turret here with a rocket pod, if you throw a rocket pod right underneath, underneath a turret, it will prioritize the turret. And it'll take it down just like that. Um, a lot of people prefer the anti-material rifle, the sniper rifle, but I think the rocket cannon or the auto cannon is going to be your best choice. It's, uh, in my opinion, much more deadly and it can one hit striders, three hit hulks, and like two hit uh, rocket Devastators, just like that. It two hits uh, Hulk's Heat Sink as well. I think two hits or maybe three hits. Um, and of course, you can take out factories with it without having to waste a grenade. And you can be really far away. So uh, look at this. One shot, two shots that missed, three shots. Those shots were missing. You can kind of tell that two of those shots miss. You can kind of tell when it hits and when it doesn't. Because it kind of releases like a little bit of a spark from the ooh, from the Hulk when you actually hit the weak spot. And one quick tip about that is I have found that if you aim a little bit above the Hulk's eye, you're more likely to hit the weak spot. Now, a lot of people try to hit dead in the center of it, but I found that the hitbox is a little bit off. At least for me. Oh god, that was ugly. At least for me, the weak spot works better if you shoot slightly above its eye. So uh, we see here mortar emplacement. As you can see, the mortar is trying to shoot me down. So what we're going to do, we were going to do there a primary objective. But since there is a mortar in play, I'm actually going to go ahead and do that first. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to back out from that primary objective. Clear out these chasers. And we're going to be circling around towards the mortar and we're going to be prioritizing that. The mortar emplacement is the deadliest stratagem or not stratagem, sorry, <laughs> sub objective in the entire game. So whenever you spot that, you must take it out right away. If you want to have a shot at staying alive, you got to take it out. It's very, very annoying to deal with. Very, very annoying to deal with, but you, you have to. You have to or else you're kind of screwed. Okay, so it's over here, right over this little hill. Take a look at it. Let's see what we we're working with here. Okay, I believe it's... Okay, well, I'm just going to take this factory out, but I believe it's down there in the in the center of it. Sometimes it's exposed, sometimes it's not. I'm hoping that 500 kilo will be able to get rid of it. Striders. So this is where the auto cannon shines as well, right? The one hits the striders. It's amazing. The anti-material rifle still has to hit it three times. Which really slows your play down. Oh. Boom. Just like that. Oh. Yeah, and that's exactly why we got to deal with this first. So I'm actually going to be going all out here. I'm going to go right into the center of it. That's one mortar down. And there's one more. Let me spot it. Where is it? It's right here. 
I'm gonna be sacrificing my life for it if I have to. But you, I'm gonna use dive in here to my advantage. Range dive. When you're going up against the automatons, diving is gonna be your absolute best friend. For some reason, they 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 suck at hitting you when you're diving. That's the best diving or dodging tool you have in hand. Okay. So when you're going up against the automatons and you're getting shot at, make sure you spam dive a lot. It's gonna help you tremendously. As you'll see in many different situations in this gameplay, I am sure that I'm going to be having to spam dive quite a bit when we're in combat. We'll be calling here the resupply. Gonna refill here my ammo because I'm going to be going into that primary objective here. Also, when you're going up against the automatons, you really don't want to be playing aggressive whatsoever. You want to play very passive and avoid as many fights as you can because it's so easy for you to get overwhelmed. Against bugs, it's a lot easier to deal with being overwhelmed, but with automatons, as a solo player, you essentially kind of can't deal with it. I mean, you can, but it's going to be extremely hard. Two shots goes the Devastator. Let's, uh, we want them to peek. Oh, oh, oh. We want them to peek us before we go in there. We don't want to just run in that in there and start the mission. We actually want to make them leave their positions here first. There should be a couple more here. Yeah, there you go. Rider, one hit. A couple of guys here. Crosser is kind of weird this game. Okay. I think that's most of them. Also, I'm bringing the slugger shotgun here. A little bit different choice from the Terminid faction. From the Terminid, we prefer the Breaker. But the Slugger here is going to be ideal against the Automatons as it's got the most concentrated amount of damage, I think. Um, other than maybe like the Marksman Rifles, but the Marksman Rifles are sadly not good at all. The Slugger is really, really good against bots, in my opinion. It's the best weapon against bots. We got the Redeemer Pistol as a secondary. And the Impact Grenade as the grenade, of course. And that's the primary. Done quite quickly. Thankfully, we didn't have any lurking patrols. There's a patrol here, but it's late to the party, so we're out of here. Enjoy the party by yourselves, because we're gone. Yeah, so when you're going up against the automatons, you're going to be wanting to do this a lot. There's no reason to take fights. I mean, really, there's no reason to take fights against the Terminate either. Um, but it is a lot more effective against the Terminate. But yeah, with the, the automatons, you kind of just want to go do what you got to do. Kind of uh, not really worry too much about them unless they're in a position where you have to kill them but if you don't have to kill them you get the hell out of dodge which is also why i prefer to make gameplay against the terminid i like all the combat i like all the fighting but yeah against the automatons falling back retreating tactically retreating is going to be your best friend all right so we're going up here into the second primary objective Um, oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's the generator one. Okay. It's going to be the toughest sub-objective, sub-primary. Trying to climb this rock, but can't seem to make it. The thing about the Malevolent Creek is there's very little high ground for you to work with. Mostly the objectives are always on higher ground than you are. Throwing grenade. Oh, God. Okay. Never let him flank you, dude. Never let them flank you. I mean, you shouldn't let anyone flank you in any game ever, but you get the point. You're getting behind you. Reposition. Get some. Get some. Fall back a little bit more. Keep them in front of you. Don't let them get to your sides. Gonna reload here safely behind the rock. 
Okay, let's see what we got. Berserkers. And we got a Hulk creeping up. Let me see if I can get him quick. Okay, three shots. Took four, but one of them missed there. Yeah, the Slugger sadly just isn't very good against the Berserkers. I mean, most weapons aren't good against the Berserkers. They're just really tough. Okay, that's most of them. Let's see what we got. Got a couple more in the primary objective. Reload the auto cannon once again. That's a grenade. That should blow up that wall. Or not. Okay. Alright, that's both of them. If there's any other little threat. We don't want the little guys to stay alive because we don't want them to call for bot drops like these guys. Okay. Now we're good. Now we just gotta worry about upcoming patrols. We'll pay attention here to the map. There's some behind this thing. But unless they come up to us, we're not going to chase them down because we don't want to trigger a bot drop here. But we'll just kind of stay chill. Doing our business here. Okay. Oh, okay. That was easy. Wait this out. Yeah, generally against the automatons, you want to be playing quite passively. You want to use stealth to your advantage. We'll be using lots of that this game, especially later on in the game, as you will see. Trying to throw the grenades to try to... Oh, that didn't work. I was trying to bait the patrol into searching the grenade, but the patrol was further than I thought. Focus on the Hulk. Hulks are going to be your main priority against automatons. They're the deadliest one. Deadliest enemy type in the game. As they charge you down with that annoying flamethrower. That's it. Second objective done. Uh, we got a party there, but we don't want to deal with them. So we're just going to bail and move on to the next step. Oh, that crosshair is like... Ah, that was annoying. I'm gonna get the crosshair to work. Okay. We got a stratagem jammer here. Uh, we'll be taking that out. That's right next to it. We might as well. Gonna take out that mini gunner. Okay, thought he wasn't going down there. This is an easy jammer. Let's check this out, right? Wait. Boom. That's the jammer. Most jammers isn't a factory, but this specific jammer is a factory. As you can see here, the control panel is turned off. And if you just take down the factory, you pretty much take down the jammer. What? A crosshairs glitch there. You guys see that? So the auto cannon coming in clutch there, Just being able to one shot that stratagem jammer. I don't think every jammer, uh, I think only a, a few types of stratagem jammers can be one shot. Some of them you actually need to go through the uh, control panel, the terminal. Anyways, we're going to be making our way here onto the next primary objective. I believe we've taken down one, two, two sub objectives and two side objectives. We've made some good progress. There's been minimal threat so far. But yeah, against the automatons, that's pretty much what you want to be doing, man. You, you just want to avoid fights. You, you want to avoid fights. So you're in here to infiltrate pretty much. Infiltrate, do your objectives and get the hell out of dodge. You're not really here to... Uh, you know, get rid of their race by just killing them all. Um, but yeah. Against the Terminate, it's pretty safe for you to play very aggressive and kill pretty much every bug in sight. Is that? That's this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is the CF, right? 
Yeah, that's the CF uh, SAM site. Okay. I thought that was a point of interest, a regular point of interest. Oh, that's good. That's convenient. Okay. But yeah, against the automatons, you'll just want to really be dodging as many fights as you can and just doing what you have to do. I like the light armor for this as well. Um, allowing us to run much faster than usual. Since we're just going from point A to point B and just completing those objectives, we really don't want to be slowed down by medium armor or heavy armor. Boom. Easy does it. Three sub objective or three side objectives done. Two sub objectives done. Got the Iron Storm locks down your minimap and your stratagems. Pretty crazy. I'm not sure if it has any downsides for the uh, enemies, but I have a theory that I think when the Ion Storm is on, the enemies can't call for reinforcement. Someone confirm my theory. Oh, I shouldn't reload there. Someone confirm my theory, if possible, please. But that, that's just a theory I have. As you can see here, like I'm fighting this and they're not calling for reinforcement, right? When they should be. Generally, in this situation, they definitely would call reinforcements. But I think it doesn't only block your stratagems, but I think they can't call for help either. If that's the case, that's pretty cool. Generally, every world effect like the firestorms tremors and all that usually there's a downside for players and a downside for the enemies it's not just like a downside for the players period you know anyways that's the mission there now we only have to do the final mission which is launching the icbm so we're gonna go ahead and do that a group of enemies in front of us so we'll be just pay attention to the minimap. We're going to be avoiding as many enemies as possible. Right? We're just going here from point A to point B without picking unnecessary fights. I mean, realistically, this is how you, sh you, you ideally want to play against either faction. To play the most safe possible. But yeah, I only find it really, really... Uh, necessary as a solo player against the automatons anyways underneath the icbm here should be a group of patrols we got one two we got five here two three four five and then we can get into the icbm without them calling for reinforcements make sure you always focus down the little guys first so they don't call in for reinforcements if you do that you get in for free. That's why my map looks, you know. Okay, let's get rid here of the small guys. That's why it looks like there's such little amount of bots. If you just worry about taking out the little guys and never really letting them call for reinforcements, you're pretty good to go. Seven, eight, two, three, seven, okay. It's from my understanding that the commissaries can call in for bot drops. Although I have seen some people say that the other small guys can also call for reinforcements, but I have not seen that to be the case. I could be wrong, but I've seen only commissaries primarily call the bot drops. So just make sure you focus them out. You'll spot them by their red glowy weapon. But either way, to play it safe, just get rid of the little guys first, if you can, so they don't call for reinforcements. I'm gonna try to... What? What? How did those miss? So, yeah, as you can see there, with that choke of a, of a aim, we weren't able to get rid of the little guys, so they called for a bot drop, so we're gonna be having to deal here. If I can throw in a, a fat nade in there. It's mostly a group of berserkers. 
just fine with the slugger we're gonna be able to stagger them to hell they're not gonna be a threat here gonna find the little guys where are they at okay there's one right over this little rock okay two wow Down goes the bot drop. Now we just wait. Also remember not to take out um, factories as much as you can. Because the more factories you remove from the map, the more patrols there will be. I've been mentioning that in my previous few videos, but I feel it's very important information to know. Don't get rid of factories and don't get rid of bug nests unless you intentionally intend on like clearing it all out. Because the more bug nests you get rid of, the more factories, the fabricators you get rid of, the more patrols there will be, meaning the harder your game will be. So make sure you avoid those unless you specifically want a harder game. We're going to be making... So we've uh, completed the mission. We It's already a flat-out victory. But we're not going to be calling it quits yet. We are going to be going here for the sub-objectives as well. We've done one, two, three sub-objectives. There's two more to go. And then we'll be extracting and we'll be talking about successfully extracting there as well. Once again, just paying attention to the map, staying away from fighting, circling, you know, we just take the routes furthest away from the red dots on the minimap, and the automatons become far, far easier. We haven't come across a situation yet of being overwhelmed, but I feel I should talk about it a little bit. I was expecting to get overwhelmed at some point, but I guess since we haven't yet, I'll just talk about it. If you become overwhelmed by the automaton bots, you don't want to keep help potting back into battle and keep trying to take them on because it will just lead to you losing all your reinforcements. Once you kind of get stuck in that death loop, you need to cut your losses and you need to just get the hell out of dodge. Because against the automatons, once you're overwhelmed, you're not going to be able to deal with it. You have to fall back. Going up against the automatons, you have to swallow your ego. You have to swallow your pride. And you got to know when to fall back. Trust me, I have a lot of pride and ego sometimes. <laughs> so I know how hard it can be to fall back. But you have to fall back. Got mortars here again, uh, so we're going to be dealing with these. Also, one thing in case you did not know, you can just grenade these like that. You don't actually need to reach their heat sink. I actually wasted a grenade there, but you can just auto cannon like that as well. Some people tend to think that you need to get to behind its heat sink to actually destroy that, but you don't. You can just shoot it with a penetration type weapon of course all right so that's four sub objectives now just one more to go you are moving outside the mission area. gotta do this rogue station it's a bit hard because they've called in for reinforcement uh so i'm kind of wondering how i'm gonna approach this i might have to take on this fight so let me call in for resupply here to top off before we take on this fight we got a patrol creeping up We'll start the engagement now. For prosperity. Max empty. Bad reload place. That's a bad move by me. That was very bad. Very, very bad. Let's get the hell out of dodge. Oh shit. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is not good. I think this is going to mean my death. Oh, I don't have... 500 kilo and that is not good yeah i think we're dead here dive spam dive spam oh. spam that dive use stims whenever you can 
as that will pretty much turn you invincible. Spam dive. How the f am I alive? How the hell am I alive? Gonna throw a rocket pot in there. Maybe weaken down their forces a little bit. Not really. Gonna get the hell out of dodge. Oh, that's the best thing you can do, man. You get out of dodge against the automatons again. You're not gonna be able to deal with the overwhelming amount of firepower from them. You have to swallow your pride. You gotta fall back. Okay. What? What's going on? I can't stem. Not letting me stem, and my stamina is not regenerating either. What? We're done. You guys can't tell, obviously, but I'm spamming at V here, and it's not, not healing my character. I think I'm. I think my character glitched. Oh, that might mean I have to suicide for it. That's not good. What I am going to try to do, though, is I'm going to try to get rid of this rogue station first before I have to suicide. I think this character is glitched. He can't stem and he can't, his stamina is not recovering either. That's weird. That's never happened to me. Has that happened to you guys? That's weird. Alright, so uh, let's play a little bit stealth here against the automatons. Gonna be a little little rat in the forest here. Make our way here towards the sub objective. Self play is quite powerful against the automatons, I'll say. Okay. I see the rogue station there, so I'm gonna crawl towards it. <laughs> I can't get up and, and engage. It will mean I will die. I mean, there's not much to do about it. I mean, you can fight. I'm not saying it's impossible to fight against the automatons. It's just not effective. My guy is like bleeding the hell out. What? Does that guy see me? The blood. Or was he just shooting in this direction? Blood. Doesn't I don't think he sees me. We got 20 seconds here on the 500 kilo. Then we'll be dropping that in and getting rid of this sub rogue station, I mean. I don't think they see me or else they would have charged me by now. Just shooting my direction, that's weird. Two seconds. And there we go. See if that's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I can get the hell out of here. Make our way to the extraction point now. I guess I'm not gonna suicide unless I absolutely have to. Oh, that fixed it. <laughs> nice, okay. Alright, we're back. All my bleeding hell diver had to take was a rocket to the back and he was good. Nice wake up call. All right, that's all side objectives. That's all primary objectives. Very easily done. We've only died once as we messed up against the mortar. I mean, the mortar is pretty dangerous. I mean, we did have like two situations there that I dumbfounded that we've survived okay let's see if i can stealth my way around here four dots around me oh no he's coming right over me no pun intended go through here the enemy lines let's try to make all the way the extraction point now we should be good But yeah, if you use this light armor, the scout light armor, you'll be able to spot the red dots from much further away. 
making it much easier to work your way around them as I am doing here. Just constantly avoiding unnecessary fights. Now let's talk a little bit about how to successfully extract here. So there are two ways to do this. The first option is wait for the timer to run out entirely. And the advantage you'll have with that is you're not forced to stay near the extraction point. You can literally stay on the other side of the map if you so wish. And then you can run back onto the extraction point once you feel it's safe. The other option, which is the one we're going to be doing here, is we're going to be calling in the extraction. And we will be hiding. Uh, instead of taking the fights. If we take the fights, we will surely get overwhelmed as a solo player. Once again, it is doable. But it is going to be extremely difficult. And very ineffective. And most likely will constantly mean, consistently mean you will die. It's better to play it safe. I'm going to wait here for the resupply before we hide. So we can take the grenades and syringes. We'll be using grenades here to bait patrols away from us, as you'll see here. So first, what we do here is we find where the edge is. Okay, that's the edge. Fall back and prone. They right around the edge. And now we just pay attention to the minimap. And avoid patrols. It's like the most nerve-wracking part of the gameplay, <laughs> in my opinion. It's scary as shit. But it does work. Yeah, it'll kind of suck if it doesn't here, but it will work. I got, I got you guys, don't worry. Usually they kind of go into the extraction point here and they kind of chill. Sometimes, yeah, you see this group of patrols here is leaving the extraction point. Oh, I'm going to throw a grenade far away there. I don't know if you heard them, but they were distracted by that sound. And I'm guessing they're going over to investigate it. So I'm proning away. We're already down to 2 minutes and 40. If we didn't have the delayed stratagems, it would already be down to 30 seconds left before the extraction arrived. So we got the Iron Storm, so the minimap is useless, so I gotta be careful here, actually. Gotta be careful here, because we don't know if they're near us anymore. Gonna have to listen here. I think they're still in the extraction zone. ETA, T minus two minutes. Very shit. Okay. All right, we're good. Other patrol coming. Oh, that grenade was kind of close. That might. That might not be good. God, please don't come over here, Berserker. Go the other way. Yes. ETA, go over there. Seconds. Yes. Good, 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 good. We're on a little bit away. So usually patrols, they kind of have like this path that they will follow, right? They don't just scatter around and investigate every bush. They kind of like have a certain path that they will follow so once they kind of get past you you're good because they, they're not gonna fall back and then continue investigating they just follow down a certain path line and that's it so just make sure you try to figure out whether the patrols are coming towards you or not if they are coming towards you just kind of prone for all a little bit away from their path line and you should be good and i think that's it doesn't seem like there's any more upcoming patrols unless there's going to be one here 
last second, but we're down to 25 seconds. And we're pretty much done with this mission. We got six common samples, 10 rare, six super rare. It was a fairly easy mission. Things went pretty smoothly. We only had one situation where we could have potentially been overwhelmed, but we somehow survived that. But again, if you feel you're getting overwhelmed and you're getting in that position where you're like in the death loop, like you respawn, die, respawn, die. Just make sure you drop as far away as you can and just get the hell out of dodge. You get this last rare sample. That's it. Against the automatons. Tactically retreating is going to be your best friend. Dropping that ego is going to be your best friend. Just fall back. Don't mess too much with them because they have a shit ton of firepower. Only deal with the necessary forces. Don't take on unnecessary fights. That's all four main objectives, all five optional objectives, extraction, and some mission time left over. How many samples did we get? Because I kind of forgot here. Oh, it was like six, ten, six, right? Superior Valor. Six, eleven, six. It's quite good. Quite a good mission. Um, decent stealth play. Sadly, not much combat, but that's how you've got to treat it against the automatons. Let's just see you here statistically how many kills we got, just out of pure curiosity. We got 155 kills. Yeah, it's actually even more than I expected. I thought it was about sub 100. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.